for men with low risk prostate cancer or potentially even uh, low to intermediate risk prostate cancer, um, active surveillance is an option uh, for trying to avoid treatment. Um, <coughs> and there's two studies that we presented. Uh, one was looking at active surveillance in men who start active surveillance at an age under 60, so younger men. Um, historically, um, people have avoided act active surveillance in, in, in younger men for concern that they're just going to need treatment uh, anyway or potentially that they may have harbor more aggressive disease uh, and that you may miss the window at treating them. Uh, so this is a study that we've done in collaboration with uh, the group at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center uh, in Toronto, um, and that's a study that, that a very well-known active surveillance cohort led by uh, Lawrence Klotz. Uh, and we've collaborated with them to put our data together, and we had a total of 432 men um, in that study. Uh, the median age of the men was uh, at, at the start of active surveillance was 55 years, and there was a uh, median time of uh, 5.1 years of follow-up. So not a, a uh, it's a it's a, a very reasonable follow-up time uh, obviously as we follow them out further that we'll get even more information